Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you need to choose one color for your warp, your vertical, and one color for your weft, the horizontal. I'm going to do green for my vertical and blue for my horizontal. So for my warp, I'm going to fold my warp in half, hamburger style. Next, you're going to measure, okay, along the fold, so along the fold, measure a tick mark, draw a tick mark every, every half inch, draw a little tick mark, Now, it says leave a gap at the top. We don't want to cut all the way to the top of the paper. We want to leave a little bit of space. So I'm going to kind of take my ruler and leave about an inch of space at the end. Then I'm going to draw from the fold to the edge through the tick marks. Once you've done this, simply cut along your line. Notice how you want to cut through both sides. Again, leave this gap uncut, please. You don't want to cut all the way through. Leave the gap. After we've cut our warp, we need to cut our weft. So I'm going to cut my blue sheet into half inch strips all the way through. Now that I have my strips, it's time to start my weaving. Place your warp vertically in front of you. We're going to begin by doing an under over pattern through all of the different layers. Start with under first, then go over one layer and under the next. Repeat this process until you've gone through the entire length of your warp. If you ever make a mistake, unfortunately, that means you have to remove the entire sheet and start again. Don't forget to glue down your loose ends. You don't want those papers falling out in between each layer. Now it's time to alternate. Instead, this time, instead of starting with under, we're going to start with over. This will help the different squares alternate. Blue, green, blue, green. No two colors should be next to each other. If you see two blue squares or two green squares directly next to each other, then you've done something wrong. Stay tuned as I finish the rest of my paper weaving assignment.
And there we have it, all finished. Let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget, once you're completed, please photograph your work and add it to the branch weaving progress slide.